Think of your brain as a CEO, and we don't want to send a message to all of its workers, which is going to be, the, the, of course, the organs and cells of the body. It uses something called hormones, and testosterone is one of these hormones. Now, as someone gets older with age, naturally, testosterone levels will decline a little bit, as well as with their general health. But the sad fact is that the medical community nowadays is seeing a lot more young guys in their 20s, 30s, and 40s that have these reduced testosterone levels, and people wondering why this is even taking place. There are many theories on why this is happening, but a big one is something known as BPA or bisphenol A. A study did, uh, in the country of China, they did a study where they tested a, a group of guys that was constantly exposed to this chemical, and they tested another group that was not. And after six months, the group that was constantly exposed to BPA, of course, had reduced testosterone levels, they had re uh, lower sperm count, and they had a lot more problems, rises to the occasion, making love. So that's not good. So to best protect yourself, what you want to do, of course, is don't heat things up in plastic. This includes not sticking stuff in a plastic container in the microwave. Don't drink out of uh, plastic water bottles. Uh, of course, you, use, you always use a glass container when you want to store food, too. And also reduce your use of canned foods. Now, another possible contributor would, of course, be using use of chemicals and pesticides in a lot of our foods, which is a tough thing to reduce, but you can always, of course, reduce, uh, clean your fruits and vegetables a whole lot more. And uh, another idea would be, of course, eat more organic food. Now, just a few other causes of this problem could be like obesity is a big cause of lower testosterone levels, diabetes, uh, liver or kidney problems, having too much iron in, the, in your body can cause it, an injury, ailments, as well as a vitamin deficiency. Now, one of the most common signs someone has low testosterone, a guy, he's not going to be interested in sex. He's also going to have problems rising to the occasion when he does come to sex. Of course, another symptom, which is going to be very common, would be very feeling very tired, having weaker muscles, having more weight gain because the hormones actually use an insulin a lot. Weaker bones, as well as having some depression and some sadness going on. Now, this hormone also plays a very key role in red blood cell production. And red blood cells are very important because they carry oxygen around the body, and you need that. So, of course, without red blood cells, you're going to feel a lot more tired. And you could have some mental problems like dizziness, confusion, problems with the memory recall, it could be increased heart rate, insomnia as well as the frequent leg cramps going on. Plus, red blood cells actually bring color to your skin, which makes you look good. And if you don't have red blood cells, you're going to look dead, white, and old, and crappy. Now, one of the best things that someone could do to prevent this problem would be to take a multivitamin supplement, which I highly recommend. Vitamin D and B all play a critical role, and studies prove it. Plus, if you're deficient in just one vitamin, it could really impact your health negatively. Now, of course, you can get vitamins from food, but the fact is our food does not have the vitamins and nutrients in it like it used to. There's a lot of reasons for that, but that's just a fact. Now, when it comes to herbal remedies that can help, there's a bunch. And one one, which I would recommend, is salt palmetto. And how it helps is by interfering with the body's process of turning testosterone into estrogen. kind of stops that and says, wait, we need a testosterone, and it helps. And there's a whole lot more, like ginseng can help, a horny goat weed, maca, and a herb known as a tonkat ali helps too. There's a lot. Now, wait, now before you go out and buy a bunch of dietary supplements to enhance and improve your health, you should be aware of the dangers involved with them. For example, dietary supplements don't have to list negative side effects. In fact, supplement companies they don't even have to ensure a product is safe before they sell it to the masses. It's not, it's not like government agencies check these products to make sure they are safe before they're sold. They don't have the resources in time. Because of this, many people get hurt every year from buying crappy products. Now, what I highly recommend you do is check out a free guide I created all about the topic of, of shopping for these supplement products. It really makes things simpler and easier, I feel. 
The course is going to explain how to identify a good supplement from a bad, crappy product. It talks about herbal remedies you should definitely consider, and some herbs which are very dangerous that uh, are very commonly sold. It talks about the government agencies and how they protect us, which is fascinating information. And it even provides some online resources. And the best part is, it carries the best price, which is free. <laughs> so you really definitely should check out this free report. And you can do that by simply clicking on the link right below the video that I created for you. Well, I really hope I helped a few people out there. Thank you so much for your time. Until next time, take care and goodbye.